Okay, good evening, everyone. Good evening, Miss. Hello, how are you? Well, it's good to see you one more class. This is the class number 14, which means that you are missing only two more classes, Thursday and Friday, and you will be done. You will be finished with the course number one. So congratulations, guys. Well, uh, I have to take the attendance before we start the class. So let, let's start with Alejandra Sofia Vasquez Carcamo. Thank you, Alejandra. Then we have Ana del Carmen Sanchez. Present teacher. Thank you, Ana. Brian Ismael Claros Montoya. Brian Ismael. No, okay. Um, Carmen Leonor Trejo. Eh, Diego Ismael Sequina García. Present. Thank you. Elvis Giovanni Bonilla Cerritos. Present, Miss. Thank you, Elvis. Jacqueline Vanessa García. Present. Thank you, Jacqueline. Jacqueline Carolina Ávila. Jenny Lizeth Valiente de León. Jessica Virginia Rosales. Present teacher. Thank you, Jessica. Jimmy Flores Hernández. Present teacher. José Alejandro Valladares Morales. Present. Thank you, José. José Osvaldo Reyes Durán. Osvaldo Reyes. Present teacher. Y Osvaldo Lorena de Los Ángeles Mengíbar. Ella está enferma ahorita, mi hija está un poco indispuesta. Ok, thank you. Luis Ernesto Cibrián. Luis José. Thank you, Luis. Margarita Beatriz Mancilla Vázquez. Margarita, ok, present. Thank you, Margarita. María José Navarro. Present. Thank you, Maria Jose. Marlene de Jesús Ramírez. Present. Thank you, Marlene. Miguel Ángel Meléndez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Eh, Mirna Janet Rivas. Mirna no está. Ok. Natalie Cristina. Presente, teacher. Yo vi a Mirna, pero no. Ok. Uh, Natalie Cristina, present. Hortensia Stephanie Rivera. Um, Oscar Lisandro Rivera. Carmen, yo no. <ríe> Ok, son varias. Ok, Mirna. <ríe> Hortensia está aquí. Brian Claros Montoya. Presente, teacher. Thank you. Ok, Jacqueline Carolina, si no está, ¿verdad? Ok, thank you, people, for connecting. And be on time. So let's start with today's class. We have in this evening the following topic. You will see it in a moment. Okay, we have uh, today a uh, word power. So you're going to study, learn, and review vocabulary. His that is the topic. He's playing tennis. You are also going to learn about sports. Okay, Oscar. Good. So today is Tuesday, November 22nd, 2022. Lesson objectives. By the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary for discussing different activities. 
And we are going to start by playing a game. This game is called Stop the Pass. Have you ever played Stop the Pass before? Ya han jugado Stop the Pass. Have you ever played Stop the Pass before? Yes, no, maybe. I will change the letters. Okay. So, Stop the Pass is in Spanish, bachillerato, stop. So today you are going to play Stop the Pass, but in English. So first of all, you need to copy, you need to copy this table, copy in your notebook, this table with these columns. We have letter, name, country, object, food, verb, occupation. So over in this column, you will write the name that starts with the letter that we choose. Country with that starts with the letter that we are going to choose. The object, the same, food, verb, and occupation. And this is the example I have for you. With the letter A, we have the name Alison, the country Argentina. And now it's, it's easier because with the World Cup, you can um, remember some of the those countries that we don't usually talk about, right? Like Arabia Saudita. <laughs> okay. And we have the object, for example, airplane, airplane, food, apple, or apple pie, or other verb, arrive, or awake, occupation, account. We, we have studied occupations, some verbs, we have studied about food and about countries. So this is vocabulary that you know in English. So let me know when you are ready to copy the columns. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight columns. You need eight columns. Eight columns. Please raise your hand when you are finished to copy just the categories. Copia solo las categorías. El ejemplo no es necesario que lo copie. Okay? But yes, the letter, name, country, object, food, verb, occupation, and Torah. So who is finished? ¿Quién ya copió todo? Okay, Mirna, very good. María José, Miguel. Okay, we need 80% at least, Elvis, Giovanni, Jimmy. Okay, copy, copy, copy. Carmen, Jose, very nice. Alejandra, Mar Hortensia, Brian, Natalie, Jacqueline, Jessica, Diego, Ana. <laughs> Guys, if it's possible, turn on your camera, okay? If it's possible. And don't forget to write your full name your full name or complete name, please. Así como les mandaron ahora el mensajito, hay que poner el número, el nombre completo según el DUI. Ok. Hay que poner el nombre completo. Ya se lo cambié allí. <ríe> sí. Y si es posible poner su cámara porque estas clases son auditadas por Insafor, donde usted ha obtenido su beca y es necesario, ¿verdad? Eh, que, este, que se demuestre que es usted la persona que está recibiendo la clase. Ya se unió Jacqueline Carolina, ok, Jacqueline, very nice. Good, so if you are ready, we are going to start. Claro, algunos esta noche me han pedido de estar como oyentes por algunos problemas, como en el caso de Margarita y creo que Oscar. Ok, so, are you ready? I'm going to say the, the letter. Are you ready? Yes, uh, yes. Ok, so, the letter I'm going to tell you is the letter... The letter B, letter B, okay? Letter B. When you complete 
the all the columns you have to say stop the bus el primero que termine the first to finish you have to say stop the bus and i will count five seconds one six, five four three two one and you stop pencils down you stop writing okay but when you finish Cuando termine, tiene que decir stop the bus. Open your microphone and say stop the bus. Si ya terminó, Jimmy, tiene que abrir el micrófono y decir stop the bus. Stop the bus. Okay, five, four, three, two, one. Stop the bus, everyone. Don't write more and let's start sharing. Okay, what name do you have? Dimi, what name do you have? Um, the second column's name is Beatriz. Beatriz, okay. Someone else, Beatriz? Beatriz, country Bolivia. Continue. Object, object, uh, bottle. Excellent. Uh, food. Uh, <laughs> um, breakfast. Le puse. Ah, we could be bread. Yes. Or... Ocup <laughs> occupation. Um. No puse. Ah, yo tenía que completarlo. <laughs> Alguien, who has something in occupation? ¿Quién tiene algo en occupation? Who has an occupation? Biology. Bus driver. Bus driver. Biologist. Baker. Baker. Excellent. Babysitter. Barman. Bandic. Barberman. Diego, I didn't hear you well. Batman. Batman. <laughs> but only one person has that occupation. <laughs> Bartender. Okay. Other country? Brazil. Brazil, yes. Belize. Okay, object? Ball. Ball. Brick. Yes, very good. Book. Bicycle. Bicycle. Okay, food? Biscuit. Blueberries. Banana. 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 Blueberries. Blueberries. Bread. Beans, frijoles, beans. Don't say you don't eat beans. <laughs> no, berenjena is in Spanish. In English, berenjena is eggplant, Anna. <laughs> it's with E, eggplant. Okay, so are you ready for the next? The verb? Ah, the verb, yes. No, no, se no puse. a verlo. Broken. Break, break. Broken is in the past participle, Diego. Break is in the present simple. Break. Also, bake. Hornear, bake. B, the verb B. Okay, now let's go over the next letter. Are you ready? The next letter would be the letter S. The letter S. Okay? Don't forget to say stop the bus when you complete all the categories. Uh, 
Okay, you have to open your microphone and say it. Hey, Jacqueline, Mirna. <laughs> you have to say, stop the bus, stop the bus. Okay, five, four, three, two, one. Everybody, please stop writing. Stop writing. Okay, who wants to start with the name? Sofia. 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 Okay. Sandra. Sandra. Aha, uh -huh, another name. Silvia. Silvia. Salvador. Santi. <laughs> Santi o Santiago. Okay, what about country? So, so Africa. Africa. Oh. <laughs> Singapore. Singapore. Santa Spain. Lima. Santa Lima. That's it. <laughs> I think it doesn't exist. Don't invent. Don't invent. Okay. Don't make... Syria. Okay. Yes, Syria exists. Good. Uh, what about object? Sandals. Sandals. Soul. Sofa. Sofa. Scissor. What? Scissor. No sé. Symphony. Scissors. Yeah. Okay. Very nice. A sponge. Yes. Okay. Um. What about food? Salad. Salad. Soap. Soup. Salad. Soup. Because soap is. A jabón. Jabón. <laughs> food. Salad. Spaghetti. Okay. Salad. Smoothie. 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 Okay. Candia. <laughs> Um, bird. C. Uh, Z. Okay, safe. C. Strawberry. Ah, food, strawberry, okay. And bird? Sleep. Sleep, yes, my favorite activity. <laughs> my favorite verb. Think. Drink. Gritar, scream. Uh, shout, uh, scream, scream. Okay, scream. That means a shout. Study, stay. Okay, very nice. Occupation. Secretary. Secretary. Salesperson. Sing. Singer. Singer. Sales. Singer. Yeah. 
salesman. Yes, yeah, salesman. Other? Let me see the chat. It says system engineer, seller, secretary. Okay, very good. Excellent. That we are going to have another word. The last letter, okay? Are you ready? Which letter do you want? Is that okay? The letter M? M? Letter M. Okay, letter M. Yes, Natalie. Yeah, teacher. <laughs> uh huh. You have to say. Yes. ¿Cómo te... uh, stop the bus. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Stop the bus, people. Let's start with the name with letter M. Maximiliano. <laughs> María. María. Manuel. María. Mónica. Mónica. Manuel. Manuel. Miguel. <laughs> what about the country? México. Marruecos. Madagascar. Madagascar. Okay. The name Marruecos in English is Morocco. Morocco. Ah, okay. Morocco. 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 Okay. Thank you, Miss. <laughs> what about the object? Mirror. The mirror. Meat. Meat. Map. Math. Okay. Other objects? Motorcycle. Yes. Mountain. Mountain, okay. And, okay, very good. What about food? Meat. Mean. Mole. Mole. Mostard. As a mustard. Macaroni. <laughs> Macaroni, okay. <laughs> It's a little bit different from this one. Okay, what about the more food? Margarine. <laughs> okay. Margarine. Mangoes. No more? More food? Mer uh, see another one. 
No, no. Una sí, mermelada. Yeah, I, I was going to say that, but it's a uh, jam. La jalea, jam. Jam, yes. Mushroom. Excellent, Jacqueline Carmina. Mushrooms. Milk. Jose Alejandro, that's correct. And now with the uh, verb. May. Meat. Meat. Ajá. ¿Cuál dijo no? May, may dijo ella. Ok. May. Yes. Uh, people put here meat, make. Mistake. Me, uh -huh. Mistake. I don't, under, I don't understand, Diego. Can you type it? Mistake. Mistake. Mistake no es un verbo, es un sustantivo, que significa oh. error. Mistake. Move, excellent. En occupation? Manager. 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 Housewife. Housewife, pero es con M. Master. Bueno, me aparece que sí existe mistake como verbo. Ok, so it's, co it's correct, Diego. It's like not very popular, not very common, but yes. Uh, no. <laughs> um, occupations, mechanic, mermaid. <laughs> Manager. 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 Marine. Okay. Sailor person. Master. Master. Okay. Musician. Model. No sorry, occupation. Very good people. Now the next activity is this. After playing, you're going to now create a story using all the words. First, you need to choose the letter, letter B, letter L, or letter S. You choose the letter, and then you have to create a story using all the words with that letter. If you choose the letter B, for example, and you have to use all the words, the name, country, object, full verb, occupation, all the words with the letter B. This is my example. Alison is from Argentina. She's 25 years old and she is an accountant. She is arriving to El Salvador at 2 p.m. to visit me. She's traveling by airplane. She likes apple pie with coffee. We're going to have coffee together this afternoon. So you're going to create a story. Use your imagination. Try to make it funny. And you have to use the all the all that we have learned in this module in this course. The how to say where you are from, the age, the occupation. You can use the present progressive, the simple present, etc. So in this moment, you will have some minutes. I will give you how much time do you need? Three minutes or five minutes? Five minutes, please. I think we're gonna do it in less than five minutes, but I will give you five minutes, okay? Five minutes to write your story.
Bueno chicos, ese, solo mientras escribo la historia, eh, les voy a decir en español, estoy revisando la, el porcentaje de asistencia, eh, hay algunos que tienen que no faltar para nada y conectarse toda la hora, ¿verdad? Porque les hacen falta minutos, veo que solo unos cuantos, quiero ver, ¿cuántos han logrado el 80%? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Only 10 people has 80% so far. The other people has 50%. So you have to... Uh, Connect the whole hour. Tienen que conectarse toda la hora. Completa y completar esos dos días que faltan para que puedan llegar al 80% de asistencia. Y igual, vamos a ver con las tareas. Y vamos a ver, tareas, midterm. Uh -huh. Ok. Vamos a revisar. One minute and 40 seconds. One minute and 40 seconds to finish your story. Time's over, people. I hope you finish the story. All right, raise your hand if you finish the story, please. Okay, we have Mirna, one. Elvis. Two. Three. Maria Jose, good. Okay, so who would like to share the story with the class? A ver, Mirna, you can share your story. We listen to you. Hi, my brother is Balmore. He is 26 years old. He is a baker. He bakes uh, delicious breads. He lives in Brazil. Today the weather is rainy and he wears boots. 
Wow, that's a great story. Thank you, Mirna Yanet. Excellent job. Wow, guys, you have you can speak English now. Okay, who is next? Who who wants to share the story? Mm -hmm. Diego, okay, Diego. Hey. Maria is from Mexico. She is 25 years old. She is living in the city of Mexico. She works in a restaurant and she has parents and she likes to uh, eat pizza with your friends. She is a friend and she has a brother. She is my friend's thing to child and we are best friends. We like to talk about when we were a chill. Okay, what is the letter that you were using? The letter M. What is? What letter were you using? Which letter were you using in your story? How? ¿Qué letra eligió para esta historia? M, letter M. M, okay, Diego. <laughs> Maybe M. <laughs> I don't know. Sí, es que tenía que usar una de las, usar todas las palabras con la letra que dio. Ah, that's right. Ok. <ríe> ok, thank you, Diego. Luis. Luis y Brian. Ok. Eh, María is from Mexico. She is 20 years old. And she is an manager. She has a meeting in El Salvador at 4 p.m. Uh, she's traveling by a motorcycle. motorcycle. Interesting. She like she like mango with coffee. <laughs> and we are going to have coffee together this afternoon. <laughs> she likes mangoes with coffee. That's strange. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Okay, thank you. You can share your story, Maria Jose. Okay, Sofia is from Slovenia. She is my best friend. She is 28 years old. She, she is sleeping in her sofa. Her favorite food is the soap of beans and she is a secretary. Yes, her favorite soup is bean soup. I love bean soup. <laughs> it's my favorite. La sopa frijoles, bean soup with cheese. And avocado if it's possible. Okay, do we have another story? One more? One more story? Jacqueline, Carolina. Okay, Jacqueline. I use the letter M. Okay. Monica is from Mexico. He likes to make masks for parties. Mm -hmm. Always when she is in El Salvador, she eats mangoes. When we meet, in, we meet in an interview when I was mermaid in the park. <laughs> okay, great. A little bit crazy, but yes, it's okay. Thank you, people, for sharing your stories. Oh, Carmen, you want to share? It's okay. Hear you. Mary is from Mexico. She's uh, 31 years old. She's chicken. Carries, no sé cómo se pronuncia. Carries, ajá. Carries a map so as not to get lost. She likes to chop and boil milk after work. She works as a manager. Okay. She works as a manager. Great. Thank you, Carmen, for sharing. Okay, excellent. Now, guys, now let's change 
we are going to learn about vocabulary for uh, some sports. And we have, for example, um, we have play tennis, ride a bike, run, swim, take a walk, dance, drive, go to the movies, shop, read, study, and watch television. So we have those ones, those activities. Now, in these activities, I want you to write sentences using um, yeah, using this, these activities, but in the present continuous form. For example, he's playing tennis. You can say, he, uh, we, I have here the example, he's riding a bike, but you can write here, he's playing tennis. Uh, Mario is riding a bike. My mother is running in the park. I am swimming in the pool. My grandma is taking a walk. Uh, my best friends are dancing in the party. My sister is driving slowly. I am going to the movies with my best friend. My father is shopping at the supermarket. Maria is reading the Bible. I am studying English and he is watching television. So let's write please in your notebook sentences using these activities and the present progress. Please. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, and we can see in the next slide, people, uh, we can see the affirmative sentence. This is just like a review. We use the subject, the verb to be, then the verb in the ing form and the complement. He's playing tennis is the affirmative sentence. Negative sentence, he's not playing soccer. Question, yes, no question. Is he playing tennis? Yes, he is. WH question, who is he playing tennis with? Who is he playing tennis with? The WH question. So can you make, um, you can make please three examples using a, a writing affirmative, negative, yes, no question, and WH questions. Three examples, you can take three activities and do it in this way, affirmative, negative, yes, no question, and WH question. When you finish, you can send me a picture or you can type your examples in the chat box.
finished? I would like to hear some examples. Okay, Diego. Uh, for example, uh, he's playing piano. Okay, he's playing. The... Uh, and he's not playing piano. And is he playing piano? Yes, he is. Or no, he is. No, he and, is. And who is he playing piano with? Okay, thank you, Ismael. That's correct. Yes, the WH question you can change. You can use where, why, when, who, what. Okay. It doesn't necessarily have to be with who. Mirna, your examples, please. Okay. Carolina is reading a history book. Carolina isn't reading a science book. Is Carolina reading a book? Yes, she is. Why is Carolina reading a book? Because she has an exam. Excellent, Mirna. You were using uh, the grammar correctly. Okay, do we have another? More examples? Okay, we have <laughs> Alejandra Sofia, but you didn't finish. <laughs> okay, uh, somebody sent it in the group. I don't know who is this person. I think it's, it's JC. JC. Who is JC? Jacqueline Carolina? Vaya, acuérdense que para la pregunta el verbo to be va antes. Are they dancing? Uh -huh. Y vamos a usar las oraciones, todas las oraciones en present progressive. Like in this case would be Lucas is not riding, is not running with his mom. Mm -hmm. Okay. Carmen? Uh, she's cooking breakfast fast. She's not cooking brass breakfast. I guess the pronunciation is the unit. Yes, breakfast. breakfast. Is she cooking breakfast? Yes, she is. Who is cooking? Who is she cooking? Perfect. Uh, okay, who is she cooking? ¿Cómo cocina ella aquí? How is she cooking? Okay. <laughs> Uh, o también podría preguntar, what is she cooking? ¿Qué está cocinando? ¿Qué está cocinando? What is she cooking? Ajá. Uh -huh. Ok. One more participation. Miren, así aprendemos. Cuando participamos, aprendemos. Ok, Jimmy. Thank you. Um, he is driving. Uh, yes, he is. Um, oh, he is not uh, running. Uh, is he eating? Yes, he is. Who is he swimming with? Uh, Mary swimming. Okay. He's no, no. swimming Fatality. Fatality. <laughs> I don't know. They were very good. They were very good, actually. Yes. And if you notice with the question who, 
At the end, we use with para preguntar con quién. Who is he playing tennis with? Who is he swimming with? Uh, it's okay. Yes, we were good. Natalie, Natalie Roque, you were raising your hand. Yes. And she's playing tennis. Um, is my sister dancing in the party? Yes, she is. My mom is not studying in the night. He is swimming every day and every every day in the morning. He, who is she driving the taxi? She is my friend. Okay. <laughs> Very nice. Thank you. Good job. Good job, Natalie. Okay. Somebody else wants to try? Okay, Alejandra Sofía. She is riding the bike. She is not riding a bike. He, he, she riding a bike. No. She is. Who is? She is riding a bike with. Okay, Alejandra, thank you. And as I told you, you can change the WH question and use what, where, when. Okay, different. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Who? <laughs> Okay, people, thank you, thank you so much. <laughs> um, well, um, now, guys, we are going to uh, finish with this activity, but please tell me, what did you learn in this class? And give me an example or tell me what was your favorite activity. Can you play? The game, stop the battle. My, act my activity favorite is run. Okay. In the class, what was your favorite activity in the class? Okay. Um, other verbs and present continuous. Okay, writing sentences in the present continuous. Okay, that's good. Carmen? De la mano levantada. <laughs> we use uh, we use to to pra practice. For example, birds and names, and we learn uh, new countries. Okay, in English, right? Like Morocco and others, right? With the letter S, we have these, you didn't say these, these countries, look, Sweden and Switzerland. Sweden, which is Suecia, and Switzerland, which is, yes, Switzerland is Suiza. Luis says, stop the bus was interesting to learn more vocabulary, yes. And also, I like your stories, how you created your stories. ¿Qué más aprendimos hoy? ¿Qué aprendió usted hoy en esta clase? Any other? Bueno, chicos, le voy a hacer otra preguntita, entonces. De lo que hemos visto en este curso, ¿qué les gustaría o qué sienten ustedes que necesitan más refuerzo antes de pasar al módulo 2? ¿Qué temas sintieron ustedes que les costó más y que les gustaría reforzar? Ok, Luis es negative sentences. Perfect, I like that idea, negative sentences. In the simple present, Luis, 
in the simple present, I imagine. Okay? Simple present, okay? Review negative sentences and simple present, okay? Es porque algunos temas lo vimos algo rapidito para que ustedes pudieran cubrir todos los temas de las cinco secciones antes que se terminara el tiempo que ustedes tienen para las cinco secciones, que creo que es hasta el día de mañana, si no me equivoco. Entonces, simple present, review negative sentences, something else. ¿Algo más? What about the questions? No, it's okay. The questions are okay. Yes, the time. <laughs> Midna says review the time. Okay. Good. So I'm going to take this into account for tomorrow. No, so sorry. For Thursdays and Fridays class. Okay. For Thursdays and Fridays class. We are going to be reviewing the simple present, the negative, and I will try. I will try to include some exercises with the time. Como les fue? <laughs> Natalie says all the topics. <laughs> Como les fue eh, con la tarea? Ma Carmen, I read your lips. Mal, teacher. <laughs> I read your lips. How is the homework? Difficult or easy or so-so? So-so. Okay, you need to practice more. Uh, yes, that is something very important in the English language. It is important to practice, practice, practice every day because when you don't practice, then you forget. So practice is very important and I hope that you can, that you can practice not only in the class, but also uh, during the day, on the weekend, mm -hmm. with people you know speak English. Okay. Very good. Some tips to practice. Okay, Natalie. Some tips are exposed to the language. For example, watching videos, watching series in English, or also looking for more information on YouTube, or you can also read. Read in English. And yeah. Listen to the music? Yes, the songs, listen to music is also. Yeah, well, I remember that when I was learning English, yeah, listen to songs in English helped me to develop pronunciation and fluency. Para, como decimos, eh, desenredar la lengua, ayudan mucho las canciones. Para los que nos cuesta la pronunciación, sí podemos. Pónganse a cantar esas canciones que les gustan. En la clase no lo podemos hacer por el tiempo y por otras razones. Si tenemos que ir con los temas, porque solo es una hora diaria, pero en realidad aprender un idioma requiere más tiempo. Así que no solo la de la, no se queden solo con la clase, sino traten de exponerse al idioma, leyendo en inglés, buscando más información y leyendo una revista que encuentren en inglés. Hay un sitio en internet que les voy a poner por aquí que es de temas se los voy a poner para que busquen en inglés creo que así les va a salir en inglés o si es o si les sale en español ustedes lo cambian a inglés y ahí pueden leer cambien, leer cambien el idioma y pueden leer en inglés y van a aprender un montón de vocabulario y igual pueden escuchar igual ver sus películas o videos o series en inglés también les puede dar un montón Okay, so it's time to say good night, and I'll see you on Thursday. Okay, lo veo el jueves. Same word. Bye, Miss. Thank you. Good night. Good night, everyone. Thank you. Bye. Bye.